And if you've got ideas, start your own movement or your own operation because they can't shut us all down. And our message is now cutting through that electronic Berlin Wall more and more. And so the battle's joined. We're not winning, but we're not losing. We're in the fight, and it's up to all of you how this contest is going to end. That's exactly right. And one of the best things, though, about this, Alex, is we're not telling people how to think or who to believe. We're telling them to take some time out so they can really do some research and find out for themselves if the belief systems they have are actually ones that they have explored, that they have researched, or if they've just been propagandized to the point where they really don't know why they believe it. And we need to have courage in this country. We need to know that somebody who's seeking the truth is a person who has courage and honor and integrity. And if there is a third party in this country, it should be the truther party. There are enough of us out there. There are over 100 million of us who want to know the truth, who want to know why we spend over a billion dollars a week on war, why we allow our soldiers to use depleted uranium, why we are murdering and torturing, and why globally our economy is based on war. This is the 21st century, folks. It is time to stop that. It is time to recognize we don't have to give our power away to other people. We don't have to abandon our homes and our lives and our families to cook and clean and fight and die for other people. We have God-given rights. This is the time to rise. Our flesh has forgotten what our spirits remember. We have God-given rights. We are sovereign individuals. We, the people, must save our countries. Governments have sold us out. We, the people, it is time to awaken and rise. Absolutely, and continue to awaken others. That is one of the most important keys to this scenario. So, again, people can go to taxfree15.com and learn more. And, uh, I mean, I knew this was going to be successful because of your passion and because the message uh, was very clear-cut and strong and reality-based. And so now I'm just excited to see so many people joining uh, Karen Quinn Tostada in what she is uh, doing. Uh, and uh, so h how does this kick off tomorrow? I mean, I, well, that's one quick question. And then secondarily, it's also very important for all of our listeners out there and activists to call your local radio and TV station. They're the easiest to get on and to direct them to this grassroots movement because the establishment is trying to co-opt all the grassroots movements. Uh, during the break, uh, Rob Dew was in here showing me a Yahoo story in a video sponsored by Toyota claiming that some Republican-backed group started the Tea Party in 2009 and branding it as an establishment uh, system in the name of giving it support when the Tea Parties were started in 2005 by the 9-11 Truth and then in their current you know, real incarnation, the proto-Tea Party, by Ron Paul supporters 2007. That's the true history. And so that's why we have to continually launch new organizations, new operations, because then the globalists can't infiltrate and take us down because ideas are bulletproof when they're the truth. That is what's so important. Well, this, Alex, fits into every plan that's really out there because in order to start it, people just have to wake up in the morning and know they are free. They are sovereign. They can do what they choose to do during the day. They can stay and they can live well. Living well is the best revenge. Not paying attention to the government, trying to tell you everything to do, turning off your television set. Some people want to go out and join some of these Tea Party rallies. We're encouraging them to bring their lunch, to bring a video camera. Other people who are afraid to show up in public because they've been listening to the provocateurs, because they know there's danger out there, can know that they are participating from the safety of their own home just by not spending a dime at a corporate place, by calling up their misrepresentatives, by educating themselves, by starting to think about who they are and where they want to be. How are you going to get your food, folks? What are you going to do to protect your families? Where do you want to live? These are big questions that we need to be prepared to answer. We need to build communities. We need to understand that the reason things have value is because we give them value. Some of us who are out of work now are good at plumbing or building houses 
or we have computer skills. Others of us are farmers. We need to connect. In Europe, and that's what the corporatists do. They build a big government, they get you dependent, they get you in compact cities, then they cut off the resources, and then they tell you through environmentalism that you're a cancer, you're a scourge, humans are bad. This is the elite waging war on their fellow man. They see us as a scourge eating their resources, when the truth is the elites have tried to dumb the public down because they're challenged by free humanity. They are despicable, jealous, envious control freaks that must be identified and must be defeated. Karen Quinn Tostada, I want to thank you for joining us. Taxfree15.com is a portal to all things Taxfree15. And uh, uh, we'll talk to you some more coming up next week uh, in the aftermath for a quick pop-in uh, to see how this went. Karen, thank you, and I salute you. Thank you, Alex. God bless.